angular acceleration is the rate of change of velocity, angular velocity, over time. And uh, the angular acceleration is an element that we have to think about when we're dealing with rotational energy management. When we think about angular acceleration and how it affects a human, we have to understand that the brain is an object or a mass inside the skull that's suspended in fluid. And anytime you hit the head in such a manner that doesn't send that force directly through the center of mass, the brain rotates. And that's aggravated by oblique impacts, glancing impacts, and blows that would cause a, an induced spin in the helmet. So most every impact, regardless of how you hit, is going to have an element of angular acceleration involved. The medical community has done testing and proven that the helmeted head form versus the unhelmeted head form sustains basically the same amount of angular force in a conventional helmet and that's not good. It tells us that the conventional helmet doesn't have the ability to address angular acceleration. The reason that a traditional helmet doesn't manage angular acceleration well is due to the construction of, of the e inner EPS liner, and that inner liner is made of one singular form of EPS. By the nature of that, it's not, it doesn't allow itself to manage angular acceleration and shear and the shear forces that are induced by that. That is the reason we developed our ODS technology and developed a dual liner system that separated the, the inner liner from the wearer's head to the outer liner uh, dealing with the impact. In motorcycle riding, in particular off-road motorcycle riding, Oblique impacts are the, the highest type of impact we're going to have because we're usually falling in motion. So we're falling to the side uh, or over the handlebars in some direction uh, while we're in motion. And that's going to cause a rotational uh, induced moment or spin on your head. And that aggravates the off center of gravity impact force um, through your brain. And therefore, our omnidirectional suspension system, our ODS technology, greatly improves your ability to mitigate those energies and hopefully reduce uh, the amount of damage that you might incur. Dr. Terry Smith of Dynamic Research did our initial testing and since has been doing all of our testing at the facility. And uh, we were all quite surprised that our first prototypes uh, performed as well as they did, which was really the, the founding of that we need to keep going with our research. Some of the test results that we uh, obtained from Terry showed us that we had somewhere in the neighborhood of 80% improvement in angular acceleration mitigation over a, a traditional helmet. And that was really exciting information since the medical community has defined that rotational energy is the number one cause for brain injury. And so our goal of trying to mitigate rotational energy as well as introduce low energy uh, threshold management um, were already being achieved in our early stages and we continued to work on those refinements. <laughs>